Yes, people, welcome back to another video. So on Saturday night in Birmingham, we've got a cracking British title fight between Nathan Heaney and Brad Pauls. British title fights very rarely disappoint, and I think this one will be an absolute cracker. So uh, starting off with Nathan Heaney, he is 18-0 with six wins coming by knockout. He's coming off a huge win against Denzel Bentley. He was a massive underdog that night, and he really did impress. So uh, yeah, fair play to Nathan Heaney. I mean, he's 34. I don't think many people thought he was going to win a British title, but he's proved a lot of people wrong. And um, now he's the favourite. He's got to be careful not to get complacent because sometimes fighters fight better as the underdog. So uh, I do think that Heaney should win on paper, but he's got to be on it. If he uses his height and his reach to his advantage, he's six foot one, which is very tall for a middleweight. I think he can come through, but uh, Brad Pauls will be dangerous. I do think Brad Pauls is the bigger puncher, so Heaney's got to be wary of that. But uh, if he uses his brain and uh, boxes on the outside, I do think that, um, like I say, he should come through. He's went 12 rounds before, whereas Brad Pauls hasn't, so he is more experienced at a higher level, Heaney. And, um, yeah, I think it's going to be a good fight. I mean, the Stoke fans are mental. He's a huge Stoke City fan, Nathan Heaney. Unfortunately, he's not headlined much in Stoke recently because, unfortunately, no one knows where Stoke is or how to get there. So, um, yeah, I mean, he does fight on the road a lot, but a lot of his fights do seem like a, a home affair for Heaney because of um, how big his fan base is. So, yeah. Uh, I do think he should win, like I say, if he sticks to the game plan and if he boxes on the outside, he should come through, but um, he does have to be wary of Paul's power and also this is Brad Paul's world title fight, so um, he's got to be switched on, Heaney. So in the opposite corner to Nathan Heaney, we've got Brad Pauls, who is 18-1 with 10 wins coming by knockout. Last time out, he picked up the English middleweight title, stopping Mitchell Frearson inside eight rounds. He looked brilliant that night. He has lost once before to Tyler Denny, but since then he's improved massively. He's a big puncher. He's got great head movement. And I do think he's got a good chance against Heaney. I can't imagine Paul's outboxing Heaney, but who's to say he can't step up and um, you know potentially win on points. But for me, his best opportunity is to try and stop Heaney, which is easier said than done, but Heaney does get hit. And Paul's, like I say, is a big puncher. So, um... I do expect Nathan Heaney to come through. I do expect him to win on points, but Pauls definitely has a chance in this. So uh, I can't wait for the fight. It's a really good card as well. To be fair to Frank Warren, he's put on some excellent fights on this card. I mean, you've got Liam Davies against Eric Robles Ayala, Zach Parker against Tyron Zoiger, Dennis McCann in action against Brad Strand. We've also got the return of the juggernaut, Joe Joyce against Cash Ali. Hopefully, Joe avoids being eaten alive by Cash Ali in that one. But um, yeah, it should be a great night of boxing, guys. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Have a great weekend, and I will see you all on the next one.